Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another crafty decor adventure. Olivia here with the Olivia's Romantic Home and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys some DIY Dolly Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. Also don't miss out on my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. I'll leave the details in the description box below but basically all you guys have to do is subscribe and comment. So you guys I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget and even some little thrift store outfits of the day. This is my latest pretty little shirt I found at the thrift store for about three bucks. So if you guys love budget friendly decorating and fancying up, um, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. If you click the bell and punch all, it will update you every time I post a new video. I post several DIY videos a week over on YouTube and several a day over on Facebook. So hey you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a beautiful blooming topiary using Dollar Tree laundry baskets. You guessed it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take two Dollar Tree laundry baskets and using about three to four zip ties, you're just going to zip tie them together. And I did find it easiest to kind of turn the baskets on the side to do the zip tying. The next thing I'm going to do is make my baskets cohesive, although I think these colors are absolutely adorable. Um, and I just spray painted it with some gold spray paint. The next thing I want to do is take this floral greenery and I'm going to take and kind of push it into the basket let it pop out the side and then zip tie it from the back so you see my zip tie work from the back and now I'm going to take and bend that greenery around and kind of cascade it down the front of the basket um, to kind of cover up the basket but then it should begin to make our blooming floral topiary here and now I'm going to add another bit of greenery and these greenery swags I do believe came from Hobby Lobby a couple of years back um, I do love to repurpose and reuse so many of my goodies and I just took this swag and did it the same way as the other one and just kind of let it cascade down the front now I want it to look like kind of a wild English garden topiary so I'm going to take some of these pretty winter hydrangeas and pop them into the basket I'm not having to use any type of floral foam but if you're going to be using this for an event you would definitely want to zip tie or wire these florals and this is just for my home and for me so I felt like it wasn't really that necessary although I will tell you the basket was kind of a great thing to be able to pop a lot of these florals into. So surprise, surprise, learn something new every day. I'm adding in some pretty winter roses and I did get these beautiful florals um, at Michael's on clearance a couple of seasons ago. Definitely check your Michael's clearance section after the holidays. You guys are going to find really great deals on all of their florals. Now here is how my floral topiary turned out. You would never know that it was too Dollar Tree laundry baskets to be able to create this. Now I wouldn't recommend putting this in an area that's going to get like a lot of wind. If you're going to be using this for an event, you would definitely want to anchor it down. Um, but I think it's beautiful, especially if you're going to be doing something indoors and kind of turn sideways and up towards the wall. You can't see the basket from the back, but I would use like a really pretty piece of maybe sheer fabric, or you could use some little bows to kind of conceal any basket from the back if it is going to be facing to where you get a 360 degree view of it but I thought this was such a fun idea on a total budget I wasn't for sure if I was going to be able to pull it off I had the idea in my head and I was really excited that it came to fruition so I hope you guys are inspired by this and create a pretty little topiary for your special holiday or entryway and you could even put like a little sign on one side kind of where you can see that basket peeking out you know put a little romantic picture or sign or whatnot so fun and fabulous on a budget Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a wonderful faux marble technique effect. Okay, so you're going to take a pan of water and then I'm using white and gold spray paint because I want it to look like a glam marble effect. And then you just want to add some spray paint into your water. Now, I decided to use one of the Dollar Tree vases. I'm going to create like a glam marble vase. So I painted the outside of my uh, vase white. The next thing I'm going to do is add some more spray paint into this pan and 
and then just gently um, take the vase and skim the top of the water to create that marbling effect. Now I did see Tamara Bradshaw on Tamara Bradshaw Home do this with some pictures and it was such a cool idea. So thank you for the idea, Tamara. Oh man, she has really cool stuff. You guys have a chance. Now I needed to add some more gold to this. I want it to really kind of have a little bit more pop of color and here is how it turned out after um, I did that and I did let it dry for about an hour before I added any florals. Now I'm just going to take this beautiful bouquet of florals. I think these are like little peonies. They have some glitter and sparkle on them. We have a lo local Victorian house and so I got these at our local Victorian house and I just popped them into this beautiful vase. And here is how it turned out. You guys, I think this looks so, so, so glamorous. This is so budget friendly and it took very, very little spray paint. And I have seen people do a similar technique like this using nail polish. So comment down below if you guys have ever tried this faux marbling effect. Um, it seemed like it really took to the glass well. I don't think it's going to flake off much. Although if you wanted to seal it, you could maybe seal it with like a waterproof Mod Podge or maybe an acrylic sealer. I don't know really what the best idea for sealing it would be to give it a lot of longevity. So if you guys have any ideas on that, let me know. I may try out a couple different ways of sealing this. This is my first time attempting this project. I feel like it came out really good. I showed it to my daughter and she was really excited for the results. I always love to learn new techniques. So again, check out Tamara Bradshaw Home. She has an amazing Instagram that shows tons of cool DIYs. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can make two little candle stands using the Dollar Tree candles and some of those Dollar Tree mirrors. So I'm just going to use some hot glue. This is high heat hot glue and these will stick on here pretty well. If you wanted to use a glass glue like a Gorilla Glue or an E6000, that would give you a permanent hold. But I think just for this project, this is fine for me. I'm just going to put some little um, glass decorative vases on here. They're not going to get a lot of traction. Graphic. And so I thought this would be just fine as well also for the DIY um, and of course the hot glue dries really fast But it's not going to be a permanent hold So again, if you guys want a permanent hold with this project definitely use an E6000 or Gorilla Glue Now here's these beautiful sparkling vases and I did find the vases last season at Hobby Lobby They were 80% off on their Christmas section and so I snagged them at a really cheap price They were like three or four bucks now. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree this ribbon has a really pretty silver speck through it so I feel like it looks kind of bridalish or glam and I'm just going to take this and tie this around the side and basically I just added a tiny bit of hot glue to keep the ribbon from slipping. I've done that with this for different seasons and it works out really nicely and here is how that's going to look. The next thing I wanted to do was just tie a quick little shoelace bow for a cute little bow for the front of this and I think this is a fun way that you guys can customize you know any kind of bridal or baby shower or event so if it was your wedding colors and you were doing this as um, an event color you could use any color ribbon you know that matches your pretty wedding um, colors and then maybe use something like this as a centerpiece so this is just a super easy bow it's a shoelace bow just like you would tie your shoelaces now I'm going to take this beautiful bundle of florals and again I got these florals at our local Victorian house and they have the prettiest little glitter on them and then boom you have a pretty little floral arrangement you can add in some more florals if you'd like to fill it out here is how it looks in this kind of sparkling setup I have my totally dazzled bling Natalie oh my god at totallydazzle.com. I'll leave a link in the description box of this YouTube video for her jewels. But she has the best DIY crafty jewels and she is such a doll. You guys are going to have to check her out. She's a small business and she runs, runs tons of sales as well and has tutorials on her Facebook page on how to create some really beautiful, glamorous wedding celebration goodies. And I just feel like when you love this glam and all this sparkle and shine, it's really nice to be able to get your beautiful glam bling jewels at a discounted price. So you guys are definitely going to have to check out Natalie and I also hope you're inspired on this fun little tutorial. 
this next Dolly Treat DIY, I want to share with y'all how you can create some really beautiful, glamorous glam artwork on a total budget. So find some really cute little frames from Dollar Tree. I'm using these black frames with a little gold edge. I feel like they looked really, really glam and you just want to remove the glass from the frames. The next thing you want to do is paint that glass white. Now, again, I did see this DIY at Tamara Bradshaw Home and she has an amazing Instagram, so go check her out. And then I've got a pan of water and I'm just going to use this metallic gold spray paint. So you want to add some gold spray paint and some white spray paint if you want to do this color of gold glam effect you could also use silver or really any color you love and you're just going to gently dip your glass into the mixture and you just kind of want to skim the top of it and it's going to give that really neat glam foiling effect so i play around with the glam look here and there but I don't like to spend hundreds of dollars on new artwork if I'm not going to like really want to keep that style. So this is a great way to try out the glam style. You could even just get some photo frames from your local thrift store and do it that way. So again, I'm just adding in white and gold spray paint and then I'm dipping that glass directly in to the mixture here. And you can just kind of like there's really no rhyme or reason for how the paint goes on. You just want to get creative with it. And then if you want more of one color, you can add more of the color. But check this out. So this looks like those beautiful glam pictures that you guys see at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And again, they're super expensive and they have that foiling look. But check this out. I mean, this was a dollar for the frame and then you know the water and it, it was just a tiny bit of spray paint i've also seen people use nail polish to create this effect as well i haven't tried that but comment down below if you have um, i would love to hear what you guys think about this if you're going to try this technique i think this is really neat and I'm definitely going to be trying these faux marble looks some more. I just think it's so fun to try out new crafts and ideas. So I hope you guys are inspired. And again, don't go check out my friend at Tamara Bradshaw Home on Instagram. I love finding fun accounts. She also has TikTok. So if you guys like TikTok. Um, with a lot of really amazing glam style. I mean, very pared down and very glam and very, ooh, like movie star glamorous, which I love. Um, so anyway, I love y'all. As always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be attempting to recreate? You'll have to let me know if you guys are gonna try any of this faux marble effect or even that amazing little top there we did earlier in the video. Thank you guys again for being here. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I'm a DIY crafty mama. I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Listen, I truly believe that you don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home as well as an amazing self. I find a lot of my little tops and goodies at the thrift store. It's one of mine and my daughter's favorite places to shop as well as my son's, <laughs> believe it or not, in there girlfriends. So anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I just love to share my love of crafting and decorating and doing it in a budget-friendly way. I don't have a large home. Um, and so I just feel like, you know, blooming where you're planted is so important. And I just want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work, no matter where you're at in your crafting and decorating journey and your life in journey as well. Um, you know, just put one foot in front of the other Everybody has a bad day and everybody has a good day. So try to keep that cup, you know, half full. <laughs> I also start my mornings out with a good morning little Dollar Tree prayer card. So if you guys want to see what that's about, pop over to my Instagram or my Facebook stories. I post them both there. A good morning cup of coffee real quick with a little prayer card. It starts the day off in a positive way, even if it's all downhill from there or sometimes it's all uphill from there. Anyway, I love y'all so, so much. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.